Hey everyone, welcome back. And in today's video, we're gonna be taking a closer look at two of the most popular web hosting options, which are shared web hosting and cloud hosting. I'll be showing you the differences between the two and which one is more suitable in which situation. I'll also be talking about Hostinger, which in my opinion is the best web hosting service out there and is perfect for you regardless of which option you choose. So if you're looking to start your website and wanna know more about some of the best web hosting options out there, this video is gonna be for you. So without further ado, Let's get into it. Also, if at any point in this video you want to try Hostinger, you'll find an in-depth review as well as a discount in the description down below to help you save some extra money. Now, let's start with shared web hosting. This type of hosting involves sharing a single physical server and its resources with multiple websites. Essentially, your website is one of many on the same server, which means you'll be sharing the server's CPU, RAM, and storage space with other users. One of the main benefits of shared hosting is that it's typically very affordable. Since you're sharing the cost of the server with so many users, you'll usually pay a lower monthly fee than you would for other type of hosting. Additionally, shared hosting is generally easy to set up and use, so it's a good choice for beginners or people who don't have a lot of technical knowledge. Of course, there are also some downsides to shared hosting. Since you're sharing resources with other users, you may experience slower loading times or performance issues if another site on the same server is using a lot of resources, for example. Additionally, you'll have less control over your hosting environment since you're sharing it with others. Now let's move on to cloud hosting. With cloud hosting, your website is hosted on a network of virtual servers that are spread out across multiple physical servers. This means that you have access to more resources than you would with shared hosting, and you can scale up or down as needed to meet your website's demands. One of the biggest benefits of cloud hosting is its flexibility. Since you're not tied to a single physical server, you can easily add or remove resources like CPU, RAM, or storage as needed. This means you can quickly scale up during periods of high traffic and scale down during slower times to save costs. Another advantage of cloud hosting is its reliability. Since your website is hosted across multiple physical servers, it's less likely to experience downtime due to server failures or maintenance issues. Cloud hosting providers also typically offer backup and disaster recovery services to protect your data and ensure your website stays online even in the event of a failure. However, cloud hosting tends to be a bit more expensive than shared hosting since you're paying for access to a larger pool of resources. Also, it can be more complex to set up and manage, so it may not be the best choice for beginners or for those without technical expertise. So overall, the choice between shared hosting and cloud hosting depends on your specific needs and budget. Shared hosting is a good choice if you're just starting out or have a small website with lower traffic, while cloud hosting might be a better option for you if you need more resources and flexibility to handle traffic spikes or if you're running a large complex website or application. Now, if you're looking for a web hosting service, I do highly recommend Hostinger, which in my opinion is the best on the market for a lot of reasons. For starters, they offer a range of hosting plans to suit different needs and budgets from shared hosting hosting plans starting at just a few dollars per month to powerful cloud hosting plans that can handle higher traffic websites and applications. One of the standout features of Hostinger is their affordability. Their shared hosting plans are some of the most affordable on the market, and even their cloud hosting plans are also competitively priced compared to other providers. This makes them a great option for small businesses or people on a tighter budget. On top of that, Hostinger also offers a range of features to help you get the most out of your hosting plan. Their shared hosting plans come with a website builder and easy to use control panel, making it easy to set up and manage your websites. They also offer free SSL certificates, daily backups, and 24 seven customer support to help you keep your website secure and running smoothly. If you need more resources and flexibility, Hostinger's cloud hosting plans are also a great option. They offer scalable resources so you can easily add or remove resources as needed to handle traffic spikes or seasonal changes in demand. Their cloud hosting plans also come with a dedicated IP address, full root access, and a choice of operating system so you have even more control over your hosting environment. So overall, Hostinger is a great option if you're looking for both shared hosting and cloud hosting with their affordable pricing, range of features, and 24-7 customer support. They offer a reliable and user-friendly hosting experience for businesses and individuals alike. And so that's gonna be it for this video. Again, if you're interested in trying out Hostinger, you'll find links to pricing and discounts, as well as an in-depth review down in the description below. And feel free to comment below if you guys have any questions. I really like getting to interact with you. And of course, like and subscribe if you found this video to be helpful, or if you'd like to stay up to date with our future videos. We've got a lot more videos coming your way, so thanks so much for watching this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.